Hello and welcome to Miss Jewel Beauty. Today I'm going to create a 3D acrylic bow very similar to this one here just to show you how and just to give you an idea of just how simple and straightforward it is. So first of all I'm just going to create it on one of these blank forms here. I'm going to do it in pink so hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better. I actually use the C&D retention powders. Um, it doesn't really matter which ones you use in fairness. Um, 3D sculpts can be created with all sorts of different acrylics. You just need to be aware of your drying time for adding detail to whichever design you're doing. So, with your brush, you need to pick up a medium-sized bead. Just wait for a second. Let's polymerize and we'll place that bead onto the nail like so and just let it set. Once it's settled onto the nail, you then need to work your bead and you're aiming for like a sideward, whoops, you're aiming for like a sideward triangle. There we go. Let's tape her that in like so. You see what I've done there? And then you need to go for the other side. So let's get another bead. Now I'm doing this because with the retention it stays wet for quite some time um, to allow you to move it and play with it and pack it etc. Um, so I'm going to place this bead, just roughly pop it into place and then I'm going to go in with the other one and add a bit of detail. Okay, let's do this one now. So to add the detail, I'm going to use the side of the brush. I'm just going to go in and add some little, little ribs almost. Perfect, I'm quite happy with that. Tidy up the lines, just like you would if you were doing a French and it was a smile line. And let's do the same with this one. Is that out of view? Sorry. Perfect. So now you can see this is what we've got. So now we just need the centre bit of the bow. So again, you need a small bead. Let's give it a second to polymerise and then place the bead into the centre of your bow. And now you want this to be quite circular, so just let it settle and it should, if you've got a good acrylic, it should take shape itself. Can you see that? <clears throat> so while that's setting, we can now move on and we can do the little tails for our bow. This is probably the trickiest part of the bow, so you need to make sure your brush is fairly dry and you want it to be sort of paddled and you're literally dipping the tip in because you don't want to pick up a great deal of acrylic at all. You can see we have a very very small bead there so place that bead where we want our little bow ribbons from the bow sorry to take shape and then just stretch it down like so Taking another small bead. It's probably quite difficult to do this in pink or coloured acrylics because you have to get the consistency to be perfect, otherwise the colour will be out of sync. But whilst it's still wet, you can literally manoeuvre this and taper it to wherever, wherever you want it to be. That's that one. Let me just 
just move it into that side as well. And then now we can move on to the other side of the bow. So again, very small bead, just place that down and then drag it. A little bit more powder just for definition and colour really. So again quite dry. Just draw that line in. And there you have your 3D acrylic bow. Hope you can see that. And I hope you have lots of fun playing with your acrylics. Thank you for watching.